Hi guys, welcome back. We'll have a quick look at Do Better by AB Soul. I just got a request to cover this song. So uh, we'll have a quick look at it and I'll show you guys how to play the song without a keyboard and also in the easiest way. These chords are actually not that hard. It like, seems like bar chord, but I'll give you an optional way to play the chords uh, without barring. So no keyboard start and ceiling. We have one main chord progression which just repeats throughout the whole song. So that's a great thing. And uh, you can strum the chords, but personally, I like to pluck the strings, pluck the chords for this chord for this song. So it starts off with this chord sheet, which is a uh, minor seven of E flat. I have middle finger on E eight. I'm sorry, E four. Ring finger bar on the fourth fret of D G B. So I'm plucking E D G B. Now, if you find this hard, what you can do? This shouldn't be hard, but if it's if it's actually hard, you can play it like this with all your four fingers utilize them and play it like this now for the right hand it's my thumb hitting the e string my index hitting the d string middle finger hitting the g string ring finger hitting the b string that's it so plug them together bring it two frets up so it's now six every way and it's actually a b flat minor seven chord bring it to bring it two frets up from that position it will be a c minor seven so we got one, two, three, and after that I'll go to a major seven chord. Now this is a B major seven. I'm having E seven, B seven, and then these two fingers on the eight frets of D and G. So that's the first line. After that, what we'll do is we'll play the line in the exact same way, but instead of playing a B major chord, I'll play a B major chord. I'm sorry, a C sharp major chord, which is also known as a D flat. I'm having a thumb on E9, my index on B9, my middle finger on G10, my ring finger on D11. So that's basically our chord progression. You can strum the chords, you can pluck like I'm doing over here right now, but just play them in progression and you have the whole song. So sound like this. Now one thing I would like to mention is when you're playing the chord, for the even number of chords, you can actually add a mute at the end of the chord. So one, then slap. So just like that, you're hitting the strings. So just like that. If you want to strum the chords and maybe add another note, you can add this note. It's simply the fifth note of every chord, which is basically on the sixth fret. Like, just add plus two on the fret of E string. So sixth fret for this one. So like this, this goes on. So you can do this. That also sounds nice. That's how you can play the song. So I hope the video helps you out. If you have any doubt regarding any of the part of the song, please let me know. And if you guys haven't yet subscribed, you do so. Helps me out a lot. And for more lessons like this, stay tuned. Bye.